PDP chief Mehbooba Mufti stirs up a controversy, compares India with Pakistan and Syria. The former chief minister of Jammu and Kashmir launched a scathing attack on the ruling BJP and said that the government at the center is spreading lies about normalcy in Kashmir. She further went on to slam the BJP for pushing Hindu Rashtra and hatred is what she said. She once again fired the Jumle Baas Sarkar jibe at the BJP government. She has also in fact commented on simmering tensions within the India bloc, the India alliance over the prime ministerial phase. If PDP chief is to be believed, there's no dilemma within the India bloc over the prime ministerial phase. She has batted for Congress MP Rahul Gandhi as the prime ministerial phase for the upcoming 2024 Mahayud or the Lok Sabha elections against Prime Minister Narendra Modi. She hopes it will be Rahul Gandhi. She, in fact, added that the Gandhi sign has a better vision of India than Modi. It's not about Hindu Rashtra. It's BJP Rashtra, Godse Rashtra that they want to create because you can see the amount of hatred they are spreading everywhere from Manipur to know what's happening at this point of time. I mean, ordinary people are ready to take up guns to kill each other. This is something we have seen in Pakistan in Ziaul Haq's time, what is happening in India. This is something that is happening in Syria, where people say, Allahu Akbar, and then kill. Here they say, Jai Shri Ram and lynch people. What's the difference now? Where are we? If you look at the entire run-up to the 2024 elections, you've got a new alliance in the making, the India Party, and uh, all of a sudden there's a lot of action in the opposition. But on the other hand, the Prime Minister says that this is actually a Majburi ka alliance. How do you respond? I don't want to comment on what the Prime Minister is saying, but I would say this is going to be a battle between ID of India Gandhi's India, Nehru's India, Sadat Patel's India, and Godse's India, which the BJP wants to create. It's not about Hindu Rashtra, it's BJP Rashtra, Godse Rashtra that they want to create because you can see the amount of hatred they are spreading everywhere from Manipur to know what's happening at this point of time. I mean, ordinary people are ready to take up guns to kill each other. This is something we have seen in Pakistan in Ziaul Haq's time, what is happening in India. This is something that is happening in Syria, where people say, Allahu Akbar, and then kill. Here they say, Jai Shri Ram and lynch people. What's the difference now? Where are we? So I think the Indian alliance, the India alliance, mm -hmm. is fighting for the right cause. They have the heart in their right place. And this is the time, and I'm so happy that Rahul Gandhi has taken it upon himself to fight this, you know, this bigotry that is, uh, you know, uh, taking uh, India, you know, on. And uh, I think, you know, ultimately, love will prevail over hatred. Though it's, it's going to be a very challenging task because India is not facing just BJP party. They have to face ED, NIA, other, you know, agencies which have been weaponized to terrorize the opposition in the name of corruption. Once you are with BJP, you are fine. I mean, just right. imagine Ajit Pawar, whom the Prime Minister said ki 70,000 crore ka gapla kiya hai and next day he is sitting with, you know, on Prime Minister's right side in, uh, you know, in Bombay. So you can well imagine what's happening. My colleague Mosmi Singh is now joining me live on this. Mosmi, in fact, exclusively spoke with Mehbooba Mufti. Some very scathing attacks over there, Mosmi, by Mehbooba against, in fact, the central government. But here she almost set the stage for a Rahul versus Modi battle in 2024. That's right, Polami. You know, uh, clearly choosing Rahul Gandhi in the India parties, he, she said that Rahul Gandhi has a better vision for India than uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi. And she also said that uh, it's better to have the country uh, run by somebody who's uh, educated, knows what he's talking and has uh, the true principles of uh, India intact rather than a country run by illiterates. So she launched a very frontal attack on the BJP government and specifically on the Prime Minister, uh, clearly saying that it was Gandhi versus Godse that the India parties were fighting for and that, uh, that hopefully they would uh, succeed in 2024, even as she admitted that that there are many prime ministerial candidates
candidates. Clearly, her choice uh, for that post was uh, with Rahul Gandhi, you know, uh, where she spoke about that Rahul Gandhi is the only one uh, who's, uh, flag uh, who's running this flagship uh, yatra and, you know, uh, uh, spearheading the entire campaign against uh, the hate that is being spread in the country these days.